Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannot Reviews, where today we're checking out a 2022 Cutwater C248. It's currently for sale in Jacksonville, Florida, and this one's on offer for $167,500. This one's for sale through our friends at Mark Ziegler Yacht Sales. And this boat's got an extremely high spec for its size, and it's perfect whether you're looking for a weekend cruiser, or there's even been people who use these sort of boats to go and do the great loop. She's powered by Yamaha 250 horse V6 outboard. This engine's only got 79 hours on the clock, but she's already had her 100 hour service. That's just the type of maintenance the owner's been keeping up with this boat. I love the handholds that's in place for making your way up to the bow. And on the bow we've got an electric windlass, which can be operated at the deck, but it can be also operated at the helm. And then this boat's got a clever design where she's got a boarding ladder mounted into the bow because she is able to be beached on a sandbar and you can climb easily on and off that way instead. I love the fact she's got a low air draft. She's roughly 10 feet from the waterline. She's got an 8.5 foot beam and she's just over 30 foot in length. And while there's not a trailer included in the sale, she is a trailerable boat, allowing you the opportunity to go anywhere you want from the west coast to the east coast and all the inland lakes and locks as well. And I love the fact that she's multi-purpose. She's designed for cruising as well as fishing. You'll see rod holders throughout everywhere in the aft cockpit. You get that extended sun on in to give you extra shade and protection. And I love the quality feel you have from that rubber mat teak decking effect. Soft on your feet, low maintenance, but it's still got that cosmetic appeal. And on the port side on the transom, you'll see here we've got what looks like a locker, but this is actually self-draining, so you can fill this up with ice and keep some fish and bait in here. Again, you'll see there's plenty of drinks holders and rod holders nearby, as well as the shore power connections. And with the shore power, the boat's fully air-conditioned. So on a hot day like today, it's certainly nice and cool on board. On the starboard side, there's a little doorway access that leads out to the transom. There's another boarding ladder out here. There's also a shower for rinsing off when you come back in from the water. And then if I lift up this middle section, you'll see you've got the perfect bait station for fishing. Not only do we have a sink, but we've also got a live well here and a raw water wash down. And I love how clean this is. You can tell this has been well maintained, but it's also been low use. And in front of this section, I like the fact that we've got these pop-up seats. That way when you want to have guests in the cockpit, you've got plenty of room, but whenever you want to do any sort of fishing, you can also lock them out the way and give you more freedom to walk around. And there's also more seating, which reminds me of the Ranger tugboats, where you can open up the window that leads into the main accommodation area. And the seat that's right here has got forward or rear-facing backrest. You can flip it open. And that way you can have them enjoying the aft cockpit, or we can close it all up and have them enjoying the inside instead. And as most people will tell you, storage is always a premium on boats, especially smaller boats. And this one's got some great designs to her. In the aft cockpit on both sides, we've got access to the batteries, but there's also room in here for storage. But there's a ton of room in the centre lazarette. This one's actually got a spare anchor and chain in here. There's plenty of room for ropes and fenders. You also see we've got some auxiliaries for the outboard, including the filters. And I love how easily accessible this is when needed. So as to the tanks on board, there's 22 gallons of fresh water, there's 116 gallons of fuel, and there's 11 gallon holding tank capacity. And if we make our way inside, I love the amount of visibility you have. There's windows everywhere on this one, including on the coach roof itself. We've got a galley on the starboard side. You've got some good countertop space, storage space, you've got a single burner stove, stainless steel sink, and all the drawers and cabinets have got the push button lock mechanism, that way it stays safe and secure while the boat's underway. And this is a boat that's capable of hitting close on 40 knots, she'll probably cruise somewhere around 25 knots, and she's supposed to have a range over 200 miles at cruising speed. Under the helm seat we've got a small fridge and ice box, and opposite that we've got the microwave convection oven. And on the port side we've got a very clever seating arrangement. Um, not only can you have this forward or rear facing, you can have it with a cockpit table, you can lower the cockpit table and this becomes a single berth. When it's forward facing you've also got plenty of handhold. Your co-pilot's also in charge of the music on board with a fusion stereo mounted on the dash. And these are very comfortable seats. This might be one of the smaller boats I've listed on the channel, but it doesn't feel any less when it comes to the quality and comfort on board. 
I like the fact that most of the windows you see you're able to open for extra light and ventilation but we also have hatches overhead that you can open as well and then another way that they have really used the space well is underneath the seating that you see here in the cockpit table you can actually pull this seat forward and not only do you have access to all your control panels underneath your battery isolator switches and things like that but there's actually another berth on here the owner's currently using this for storage but for a boat of this size she's actually capable of being a four berth cruiser and again even for this berth there's plenty of lights there's plenty of cushions there's plenty of soft surrounds and if you were looking at doing more of an extended cruise and like the great look you can certainly use this for storage put a couple of totes down there extra food extra clothes things like that and if I make my way forward on the starboard side, it's where you're going to find the helm seat. And the helm's very comfortable whether you want to sit down or stand up with a bolster effect. I love the design of the steering wheel. It's got a classic car feel to it. But I also like the fact that it's the right size for being at the helm. I love the electronics that's on board, but I also like the fact that there is more room if you wanted to add additional electronics at some point down the road. We've got trim tab controls, which you don't always have on an outboard powered boat of this size. Your digital throttle, your VHF, your toggle switches with a carbon fibre background, your Yamaha engine management system. This one does have a bow thruster. She's also got a Garmin multifunction display. And most importantly for a Scotsman in a day like this, she's got a big old air conditioned vent pointed right at you. Now it's only a couple of steps down and it takes you into the lower accommodation. Now you can have this set up as a V berth, but with the infill cushions this makes a really big double berth storage underneath the seats there's plenty of headroom there's opening portholes to either side as well as a hatch overhead there's a TV mounted on the bulkhead and you'll see that black curtain behind it that's because this actually pulls round and becomes like a shower curtain and this becomes a heads compartment you've got the small sink on the right hand side and the shower head actually comes out that faucet and if I just temporarily open this door you'll see that we've got the toilet on the other side and obviously the basin for this is self-draining, being that it's a shower. It's a great setup that you can make a boat this size is capable for having four people on board, enjoying a weekend away, or as I said, you could use this for more further extended cruising. I looked up Cutwater's website whenever I was making this video on a similar spec boat. You're going to save over $25,000 from you. Not only that, you're going to save the time that you normally wait from new build orders. I think this is a fantastic boat and a fantastic opportunity. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below, if you haven't done so, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. And I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.